All right, guys. All right, here I am back again. Uh, the other day, I, I quit because when I cut my grooves in these panels, you can see here how I just chewed up that plywood. That just, that just surprised the heck out of me because that's never happened before. So, and it did it, as you can see, on both panels. And I don't know why that happened. I've, I've cut plywood and I've cut plywood and this one's really messed up. But anyhow, I'm going to take my 80 grit sander here and see if it'll clean most of this off. Let's see what happens. It's not pretty, but I can work with it. Again, this is going to be the rear interior of the cabinet. This won't show when the cabinet's put together. By the time it's painted, it probably won't look that terribly bad. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the other piece. Okay, hey, guys, DJ. this is uh, the results of today's progress so far. Uh, this, of course, being the face frame, I got the two sides installed on the face frame, and I also got the back uh, panel installed. Now, I don't know if you've ever had a case of the dumbass, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Back out is a mess up or something. When I cut my back, this interior width is 36 inches. And that's what I cut my back width, 36 inches. Only problem is I needed another half inch, a quarter inch on each side, either side for it to fit in these grooves. Well, that's not going to happen, and I'm not going to waste a whole other sheet of plywood uh, for this back piece. So what I did is cut pocket holes in it, butt glued it on the edge, and put the pocket holes in it. And between the butt gluing and the pocket hole screws, maybe that'll be sufficient to... Uh, to uh, hold hold this on the back uh, again it's interior you can see here where along this edge here where the uh, plywood ripped up it looks like just that top sheet of ply that was on here is what ripped up when I cut my grooves once I went in and sanded all that out my grooves were nice and clean uh, all for naught as it turned out because uh, I did not do it like I'm supposed to do it but hey that's not the first time that's happened so anyhow I think this is going to be it for today it's not a whole lot of work done today but between yesterday and today my back is just screaming at me so I'm going to let this be it call it a day I'll post this little video a little short one and uh, when I start again tomorrow or the next day depending on how I feel we'll be working on uh, putting in the uh, Face plate here that goes in here to where I'm going to install my drawers. I get that in and then I'll be working on putting my drawers in. I got to put my uh, divider in here for my drawers. That'll go in here. And uh, other than that, it's getting there. So for now, this is the DIY Woodworker and we will talk to you again real soon.